pre engineered steel building offers cost optimization over conventional non tapered sections uh, as in the pre engineered steel buildings we are, we are using tapered as well as slender sections but as we use slender sections the the structure is more prone uh, to the buckling and that's why for the cost optimization as well as for ensuring elastic stability of the structure it is extremely important to understand different types of buckling like uh, uh, flexural buckling, elastic lateral torsional buckling, as well as local buckling. At the same time, it is also extremely important to understand the interaction which happens uh, between different members like column, rupture, purlin, sag road, sheeting, etc. So keeping this in mind, we are glad to launch uh, our unique and interesting online course uh, related to uh, BB structures, uh, which is Steel STR007. And in the first uh, module of this course, we are going to cover warehouse uh, type of structures. So we are only considering warehouse type of structure in this first module so that we can have more focused discussion about uh, fundamentals of uh, steel structures. And in the upcoming modules, we will add more complications like uh, introduction of heavy cranes, uh, uh, mezzanine floor, etc. as per the uh, functional requirements. So if you see the quick highlights of the uh, course, uh, we will generate uh, finite element modeling of individual members like uh, let's say column, rupture, purlin, etc. Uh, to understand or to simulate uh, the, the very important limit state of uh, lateral torsional buckling, local buckling, etc. We'll talk about uh, interaction uh, between different structural uh, structural members. Uh, and in this course, we'll be covering end-to-end uh, -end design of uh, two different types of warehouses. So one warehouse, uh, let's say, which is uh, without central column uh, and uh, other type of warehouse where we will consider central column. Uh, the design will be performed using uh, Indian Standard Code IS 800 uh, 2007. And software which we'll be using uh, throughout this course will be State Pro, RAM Connection, and, and RCTC. And of course, we are also getting a few requests that EDEPs also may be introduced. So let's say if a group of participants are interested, then we may include EDEPs also uh, in the course if it's required. We'll also include uh, the manual verification of uh, design results obtained from the software for typical members. So let's see quickly how this uh, content is organized uh, in different uh, sessions in uh, in the course. So we will initiate our uh, discussion uh, uh, related to learning from uh, failures. Uh, we'll talk about uh, different structural elements like columns, raptors, pollen, sheeting, gut, sag road, flange bracing, etc. The comparison of structural behavior we will do first let's say with and without slope like what is the behavior which is happening in the structure because of the introduction of the uh, slope we'll talk about uh, this important limit states as we just discussed earlier like what is flexural buckling what is lateral torsional buckling and what is local buckling etc We'll continue our talk about uh, about this important limit states of uh, buckling and we'll generate finite element modeling of uh, rupture for simulation of lateral torsional uh, buckling and, and that's where we will talk about uh, concept of flange bracing like why flange bracings are introduced what will happen if let's say if we do not introduce uh, the flange bracing in the structure how to design the flange bracings that also we will uh, we will discuss in in this session and we'll also simulate the flange uh, bracing concept uh, in the FEM model of uh, Raptor. We will also compare the results obtained from, from this finite element modeling of single Raptor uh, along with the manual calculations as per IS 800 2007. In the next session, we'll talk about uh, importance of uh, purlins and girds for the elastic stability of the uh, structure. What is the function of sag road? Why sag roads are introduced? And we'll also simulate the lateral torsional buckling uh, of purlin through through the FEM model. So as we discussed about Raptor, we'll also generate uh, FEM model for the Z type of purlin, and we'll simulate this lateral torsional buckling for the purlin. And then we'll see the the impact on on the capacity of the purlin. Uh, let's say considering the different boundary conditions. And we'll also compare the the results obtained from the FEM model along with uh, one of the manufacturer's data uh, with reference to let's say load capacity or, or load carrying capacity of the Z purlin. 
So after understanding these uh, important areas related to structural uh, behavior, we will start uh, with the warehouse number one. Uh, the size is uh, nearly, let's say, 30 meter by 60 meters. So we'll talk about how to decide uh, the appropriate support condition, whether we should consider fixed condition or let's say the pinned condition at the uh, bottom of the steel structure. And after deciding preliminary sizing of the member, we will start with the uh, geometry generation in the uh, software. We will start applying the gravity loads on the structure, dead load, live load, etc. Thereafter, we'll talk about uh, uh, the application of seismic load in the uh, software. Thereafter, we'll talk about uh, reference load command in the uh, STAT Pro uh, related to seismic load uh, definition. We'll also talk about uh, very important changes uh, made in the NBC 2016 with reference to the seismic load provisions for uh, warehouse type of structures. And after applying seismic loads on the structure, we will observe behavior of the structure under the effect of gravity load as well as uh, under the effect of seismic load in isolation. So after finishing our uh, discussion related to gravity load and seismic load, we will start uh, our discussion for the most important or we can say the governing load, which is wind load for the uh, structure. Uh, and we will discuss about important codal provisions uh, related to wind force estimation as for IS 875 part 3 uh, 2015. So wherein we will talk about external pre pressure coefficients, local pressure coefficients, permeability coefficients. Uh, then, uh, of course, how to read the coefficients uh, for, for the shared kind of structure from IS 875 part 3 2015 and then we'll simulate the, the different scenarios or different conditions which could occur based on the uh, let's say IS codal provisions. So after having thorough understanding related to uh, wind force estimation as per IS 875 part 3 2015, we'll start uh, uh, preparing calculations for uh, wind load for, for the structure under consideration. And after uh, calculation of the wind load for the different scenarios, we'll start applying this wind load in the uh, software. Okay. And after applying this wind load, we'll, uh, we'll see the behavior of the structure uh, exclusively for the uh, wind load. Thereafter, we'll uh, be defining load combinations for the strength and uh, stability. We'll talk about uh, the, the importance of load combinations versus, versus repeat load command in the software. We'll use uh, envelope function in the software for the design of steel structures, uh, which is uh, for the uh, strength and serviceability conditions. Thereafter, we will have a detailed discussions about uh, design parameters for the uh, steel structure. Uh, and after that, we will start applying uh, the design parameters for different structural elements in the model. After finishing design parameters, we will uh, initiate uh, the uh, steel design in the software. And after performing the steel design, we'll start observing the design results. We'll see the utilization ratios of different members. And uh, we'll start uh, checking the design of, uh, of tapered slender member manually and then we'll start comparing the results whatever we get with the manual calculations and uh, whatever results we have derived from the software. The manual calculations will be performed for uh, actual tension capacity, actual compression capacity, shear capacity, bending capacity as well as uh, we'll combine different forces and we'll check uh, the, the capacity as per the software as well as, well as uh, based on the manual calculations. After finishing a steel design, we will move to the connection design. And for that, we'll be using RAM connection software. Uh, we'll see the integrated approach uh, between State Pro and RAM connection software for the connection design. We'll also see the, the importance or let's say certain functions available in the standalone version of RAM connection. We will perform design of different types of connections uh, which are existing in the model, like let's say column to raptor connection, then let's say raptor splice connection, raptor connection at the apex point, base plate connection, etc. Finally, for this structure, we will talk about uh, how to size the RCC uh, pedestal to accommodate the, uh, the anchor boards and, and, and the base plate. 
then we'll talk about uh, design of foundations using uh, RCDC software. And after performing the design, we will observe the design results and then we will have discussion uh, on the results obtained from the software. After finishing design of uh, warehouse number one, we will take up uh, warehouse number two, having approximately size of, let's say, 54 meter in width and 125 meter in length. And this warehouse will have a central column uh, in, in place. Uh, and we'll follow all, all the steps which we followed uh, for the uh, for the previous structures. That means we'll start from the deciding structural system. We will create the geometry. We'll talk about the preliminary sizing of the uh, members applying the gravity loads, seismic loads, etc. We will define load combinations, design parameters, uh, etc. And thereafter, we will initiate uh, design of uh, steel structure. And after finishing the design of steel structure, we will take up typical members for uh, manual verification. And thereafter, we'll start with the uh, connection design in the RAM connection software, wherein uh, again we will design. Uh, few typical connections and finally for this, uh, this structure we will uh, talk about uh, sizing of rcc pedestal and then designing of uh, rcc foundations using uh, rctc uh, software in this entire course we will encourage all participants to take up uh, the the different warehouse geometry and develop the computer model as as we progress in the course step by step and uh, and uh, we will have interesting dis uh, discussion on on the design results or the observations of obtained uh, by different participants uh, for these specific models so in this session, we'll be talking about uh, the balance qu queries from the participants as well as the, the results or let's say the queries generated while performing the exercises by different participants on the different geometries. Right? And then we'll be talking about uh, uh, concluding remarks. And finally, uh, we will have a very interesting discussion about the uh, way forward. So the course will commence from 28th March uh, 2024, and the sessions will be conducted uh, from Monday to Friday from 8.30 p.m. to 10 p.m. Indian Standard Time. And link for more details and registration is uh, mentioned on the, on the screen. So looking forward to meet you on uh, in this unique and interesting online course related to design of baby structures. Thank you.